What's up guys, I'm Naruto Manga Review for chapter 671. So it started off with basically Naruto actually, you know, confirming who Indra is. He already knew that, you know, Sasuke had someone inside of him and then basically Indra's chakra. So, um, the, the stage started to like talk about how, you know, first off, how Hashirama and Madara were basically had those two chakras put in them. You know, Madara, of course, had Indra and then, um, Hashirama had Ashura. But then whenever, you know, um, Madara mixed up Ashura's chakra with Indra's chakra, it became his chakra. And then of course how everything, how you know, he became mad with power just like his mother was, and his mom was mad with power, and everyone feared her and everything. So back to when Naruto found out that, you know, his chakra was Indra, and he had flashbacks to when like, you know, Sakura was like, like, no, Kiba was like, why don't you take out Sasuke? And then like, Sakura was like, Madara was there, it wasn't that easy. I was like, really Sakura, you were right behind him, you could have killed him if you wanted to, but no, you just, you know, chicken out, didn't want to do it, but yeah, that's, that's all I say about that, she kind of blamed it on Madara for being there when he wasn't there, she was right behind him and everything, but that, way back then, but yeah, the stage kind of explained how the, you know, um, infinite Tsukiyomi wasn't really just a Genjutsu, it's much more than that, he was just power to actually keep them alive, and displaying that Genjutsu. And then once all the chakra would basically like, you know, all the tail beads, chakra becomes one, it will bloom this flower which has a fruit in it, and that would basically be the end of the world right there. But then we had Shikaku, the Hachibi, and the Nine Tails, like the half of the Nine Tails. I was like, wait, he didn't he got more more than that? I thought he had like the Hachibi and, you know, um, Shikaku, but no he had the Nine Tails too. Does that mean Naruto will be like stronger because he has, you know, three tail beasts inside of him? Because I know him and Naruto are cool and him and the Hachibi are cool, but what about Shikaku? What is he gonna do to help? He hates Naruto. But then the Nine Tails mentioned uh, at, at the time has come, you know, for the person to come back, the reincarnation to come back. It wasn't really the reincarnation of him, but as his son in a way. It's still the truth because it's, it's part of his bloodline and everything, so that actually happened and then he started like you know also started like saying all the, the tail beast names and then the sage was kind of like surprised about that but the same as everyone else the sage wanted to know why naruto does what he does and why he's always you know so stuck to it and then he's like because i have friends and out of nowhere the next page sasuke pops up i was like where did he come from i mean like he really scared me he was like just there randomly and he didn't really say anything until now he said you know, yes but and Arthur was like, hey, we're not siblings, but we're really good friends. I want the Sasuke to have, have their like, little blank look on his face. Because Sasuke, we're lucky he's changed in a way. Because, you know, I mean, like Arthur said, because he has friends. Sasuke too, because, you know, I mean, he, he, he kind of betrayed his friends. But he's still trying to earn their trust back in a way. Trying to save everyone. And then the Sage actually entrusted them, you know, with peace and everything, and gave them some of his chakra to help them out. And then in the chapter we have Guy actually, you know, act you see Madara actually looking fucked up. You see blood gushing out his hair all messed up and everything. And this dude is like, the elephant isn't enough? That's good, he over here with a crazy face. He enjoying this to the max for some reason. And then Guy's over here just, you know, mad as fuck, trying to beat the crap out of Madara. And he's gonna, and right on the side it says, I have to use the Night Moth. And I was like, what is that? Is that even like something, a different technique above A Gates? Probably just like a different form of A Gates? I don't know what it is, but it's, it's Guy's final technique. And it also said, you know, Guy's final technique eventually pierce, pierces Madara. So, could Guy have something bigger up his sleeve that he can use to actually finish off Madara? Now, I know Guy, you know, he's over here bleeding too. Even though Madara hasn't touched him, it's just like the strain from using the eight gates is really just, you know, pushing him to the max and everything. So, you know, Guy is probably, like, gonna finish it off his last technique, and he's probably gonna die after this. So, thank you all for watching this review. It was a great manga. I really wanted Sasuke to actually see the stage too, and he did, so I got my wish. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. I'm out.